Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I'm really excited today. It has been a long time since I have shared any K-beauty with you all. And it's something that is requested from me surprisingly a lot. Um, I used to do these way back in the day, like every, I think every month. And I still use K-beauty in my everyday skincare makeup routine sometimes. So I thought I would share with you a haul recently. Now, this was all gifted to me, but it's all from YesStyle and they allow me to choose some bits from their website. So all of this is chosen by me. So um, yeah, I just chose some bits and wanted to see what I think of them. I will link everything down below for you in a description box. It will be an affiliate link, um, but the name will be there also. So if you don't use the affiliate link, then um, just type it into YesStyle. <laughs> First up, let me just run through a few bits of you. I had to stock up on a Cosrx Acne Pimple Master Patch. These are the first ever pimple patches I use. There's only three packs here. I have another two in my bathroom. These are the first ever pimple patches I use. The first ever experience of pimple patches that I ever used. And they are just perfection. They are absolutely perfect. Do exactly what they say. You want to just like flatten a pimple, they are perfect. And then I had to, I had to pick these up. How cute. These are masks from JM Solution. Obviously it's Disney. Obviously it's Donald Duck and there's Chip and Dale on the end of his beak there. I just thought these were cute. You know what? I didn't even see what it was. It's a vitamin C mask um, and it helps with brightness and elasticity. I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to open it because you know I obviously like collect like Disney beauty products. I don't think I want to open it. Maybe I'll try one. Maybe I'll try and take a mask out um, because I really don't want to open it because it's so cute. But that's some skincare bits I got. Okay, let's get into some makeup here. First of all, I have prepped my skin as usual. So although it's K-Beauty, there is some stuff in Yes Style, which is from Japan. Um, and we're going to start something from Japan straight away. But I have to share, a lot of you oily skin people out there will already know about the Biore UV Aqua Rich uh, essence, watery essence. So this is SPF 50 plus PA plus, 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 plus. Super, super high protection. But the texture of this, if you are looking for a sunscreen under your foundation, this is it. Like water. It is so beautiful. It's serum texture. And I have used this. Look at it. Look at it just disappear on the skin. It's so lightweight. It just feels like you're using skincare like a serum. Um, I've used this for years. Years and years and years and years. People with oily skin, like, should know about this. It is the most perfect sunscreen for under foundation. I would even recommend it for people with dry skin. If, if it's wearing SPF, but not adding that extra layer that feels heavy and feels like it's ruining your foundation. You know what I mean? Okay, let's start with her brows. This is a brand called Unleashia, and I didn't realize I actually have an eyeshadow palette from them as well. And I just love like the look of their brand. I think it's really, really beautiful. This is the Shaper um, Pomade Eyebrow Fixer in clear. That was good. Now I'm very much, me and my West Barn Co brow soap, that's all I trust. That's the only thing I like to use in my brows, but I thought I would give this a go, see how good it is. One thing I quite like initially is that the brush, I don't know what it is with um, brow gels and brow pomades, but people make like tiny, tiny brushes. And I like that this is kind of like your normal, normal corkscrew, you see? Kind of just like basic applicator. All I wanna do is comb through my brows. I don't want it to be anything crazy. It does feel super sticky. I think if you've got really fine brows, this will be really good for some like definition, you know what I mean? Because it's very much like, it's very much separating the hairs. I do kind of wish it was a little bit clearer just on my black brows. If you have lighter brows, you'll be absolutely fine. But on my eyebrows that are quite dark, you do kind of have to be careful how much you're using and that can just take up a little bit of time. But it, it feels very solid. It feels very almost <laughs> glued, which is good. That's what I want for my brows. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that to settle and then I can go in with, with my brow pen. So I actually wanna show you these concealers. These are Pink Flash and they're the Duo Cover Concealers. So you can see here, one side is like slightly deeper than what we have on the other side. I'm gonna go for number three. So this is slightly deeper and this side is very slightly lighter. So I'm gonna start with the deeper side first. And this is like, color correction without using like heavy, ridiculous color, color, <laughs> color correctors that a lot of us don't actually need. Like we don't need to go in with orange. We don't need to go in with something. We can actually just use a concealer that's even a little bit darker or a little bit peachier to just neutralize, especially for like, if you're just like me and just have like a bit of like a ready brownie tinge to around the eyes. You don't necessarily need 
extra, extra full coverage. Just something that neutralizes the eye area is perfect, you know? Cute, I could live with that, I could live with that. Okay, and then let's go in with the lighter shade. I love that it's two shades, I think that's really cute. You never know if you want to be, you know, have a bright under eye or if you just want to kind of keep it neutral. The concealer itself is actually very, very natural. It's it's almost um, fluid like where it doesn't it doesn't look like a heavy cream it doesn't look concealery um it just looks like almost like if concealer could be tinted moisturizer texture but with a coverage of concealer I know that sounds really strange but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this I really really like that that's beautiful I'm gonna pack that in my um kit my kit my my own kit for myself when i go places because it doesn't look sometimes in a, in a rush there's been like two times this year i know that's not a lot of times but then i don't go to many events i don't don't go to london often there's been two times where i've been in such a rush i've had 10 minutes to do my makeup in a hotel room to then go to an event and sometimes concealer i'm just like this is it's too much this looks perfect it looks like skin it's really easy to blend it has a really nice shine to it where it does just look like skin and that's it beautiful i really really like that okay i don't know where to go from here because i have these two tinted moisturizers by purito bb cream sorry and it says seeker clearing and it's it's strange because this is too dark for me and this is kind of neutral and then i also i know it's something too dark for me from a korean brand it's crazy and then i also have this serum cushion which has a really cute like you twist it and it opens up the pad is on top and you twist it and then open it like this i do quite it's been a long time since i use a cushion so i'm gonna tap this into here maybe i can try the the cc cream on the bb cream on the other side and show you all but it's been a long long time since i've had like a good cushion foundation that i've really liked um the finish off see this is why i love korean beauty they're just ahead of the game everything looks beautiful even our um cushions that we do um you know in like us or uk based companies still don't match up to the ones that are from korean brands oh my god i love this i love the way that looks on the skin like it just looks like healthy skin <laughs> Yeah, I love this. Love, love, love this. Okay, let me try one of the BB creams on the other side. This is a shade 23 Natural Beige. I'm always 23 and stuff. And for some reason, I got 27, which is a few jumps away. This almost has like this neutral kind of gray tone to it. I feel like I need to mix the two. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix 27 and the 23. No, it's not happening. Okay. I mean, to be fair, the texture is really nice. That's a really nice um, BB cream, but I think I need to... Oh, I don't... you know what? It's not far off. No, I need to do a better mix. I think go back to this. This is my new favorite. <laughs> and these are super easy to clean as well, um, but I do have spares. And this also came with, uh, of course, another refill right here. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows quickly. I'm not too keen on the brow thing at the moment. It's kind of like... Um, made them really rigid and you can see i accidentally did a line up here and now i can't get rid of it because it's kind of like stuck <laughs> there's no real room for error there this i love this is so beautiful i adore that so this is the about tone fluffy air blusher and this is the shade free i just thought it looked really cute and like natural and i do like um more of an orangey blusher me it's more fluidy than i thought like it's quite liquidy let's give it a little I don't know, is that gonna be too much? We'll try. Oh no, that's not too much. I like that. I could do a bit more actually. It has a very like, um, I guess like a slippy feel to it. It looks really natural on the skin. It's definitely a tint, not in terms of like how it sits on the skin, but in terms of heaviness. Oh God, I really like that. That's really nice. Just a little wash of color, a little flush of that orangey tone. Yes, I need to put something on my eyelids because I look I look sore. <laughs> yeah, love that. That's really, really cute. My hands are really dirty. I'm like a child today. It also it's also kept a bit of shine to it, which is nice. I can need more concealer. I might actually go in with a lighter one, the shade two, and go in with a lighter shade. I use pink under my eyes and it's like stained a little bit, so I just need a bit of brightening up. And my under eyes are like hollow. 
This is from Peri Pera, and they do, they're probably more famous, I guess, for their lip tints, but this is one of their highlighters in Day Glory, I believe it's called, and it's a little set. It comes with a brush and a highlighter in here, which I thought was really, really cute. Do I need the brush? No. Do I have many? Sure. But like, how cute is that? And this is a highlighter here. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. I'm just gonna go both sides and just sweep it on the cheek. Oh, I probably do need to wipe it off. Yes, yes to this. I love a good, I love a good sweep like this. <laughs> I love how, again, it looks like skin, it looks like healthy skin situation. It isn't like glittery in any way. It's not chunky. It's just completely smooth. A little bit golden. There was one which was a little bit more pink, which I think would have looked a bit more, I guess like natural on me, but I'm not, I, I like that a lot. I'm not like angry at it. Mm. It, these brands know how to do skin. Okay, so this is a brand again, Unleashia. This is the Glitter, Glitterpedia palette. It's not glittery, it's more like shiny, <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is this, this is number seven, Awe of Peach Aid. And there was a few, there was a few really cute choices in this. When I ordered this, I saw the yellow and I was like, okay, it looked kind of more greener than it was. I'm gonna do something just super like basic and fresh. Flesh. So I want to take this like more of um, this brownie kind of just contour shade through the socket. I can run a little bit under the eyes here too. Let's try and get close to a lash line. I'm even going to run that shade just down the side of my nose because it looks like it makes a nice contour too. Yeah, it does. Ooh. And then I want to use this really cute like light bluey shimmer just on the lid to keep it already light and natural, but still with like a bit of something, you know? These eyeshadows feel really, really soft, like cushiony almost. It's like clear, it's like clear eyeshadow. Might even take a bit of this yellowy like shimmer. Oh, it's very creamy. And almost just fade that in at the beginning here. Oh, I love that yellow, it looks wet. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of mascara. Then we have some lashes that I got, which I thought are really cute. So I got these, which I thought are really cute. I think a little bit different from my usual um, huge <laughs> lashes. And the band on them is incredibly thin. So hopefully we can get nice and close up and have some really natural looking spiky lashes. So one of my favorite brands for like color in general is Free CE, which stands for Free Concept Eyes, I believe. And they have these incredible little lip colors and they just look so like juicy. This one's called Rosy. I just wait for the glue on the lashes to dry. Sorry, I should look saying that. That's rosy. That's a lot more orangey on it. Oh, that's cute though. It's a lot more orangey than I thought it would come out. This is Coral. That's really nice. Very fresh looking. Oh, I really like that. What was that? That was coral. Okay. Oh, I love that one. And this is what? Pink. Oh. They all look really similar. I'll just keep this one on. Cute. Oh God, let's get these lashes on. I totally forgot. Oh. They're really subtle, really cute. Let's wait for that lash glue to dry because it's still kind of white at the moment. Okay, lashes on. They're very, very natural. I think my only issue with these would be, but you can see the, the rib like towards the end. Can you see there? Like it's clear, but it's also not very clear. <laughs> you can see where the glue is kind of like set on it. It looks kind of white in a way, but they're nice. I think, and you really need to curl your lashes underneath. I think I would add them two existing lashes, you know what I mean? Yeah, I really don't like that actually, that's kind of putting me off a bit. Okay, that was a full face of K-Beauty. I'm absolutely in love with the skin, the highlighter, the lips I can give or take. The eyes are really cute, the lashes not so much, but I think I'm gonna stack them on top of, actually, I just, I'm just gonna take this one off. I'm just gonna stack them on um, existing lashes. Um, but I love this eyeshadow, like the subtlety of the gold and the blue is really, really beautiful. The brow stuff, not so sure about. If you have thinner brows, great. It's gonna really hold for you. Okay, well here I am with one lash. Let me take that off, let me take that off. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, everything will be linked down below for you. And I'll even put some of my favorite other K-Beauty products down there also, so you can check them out. Thank you so much for joining me. Do consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.